Dr. Nitin Burkule, who is a senior consultant a cardiologist at Jupiter Hospital in Thane, and also the incoming president of Indian Academy of Echocardiography, would be deliberating on left ventricular non-compaction cardiomyopathy, echo of Sir. epic journey of two decades. May I request Dr. Burkule to please step forward and kindly deliver the oration. Dr. Burkule, please. Now, this is an epic journey for almost more than four decades. Now, non-compaction cardiomyopathy actually is characterized by very prominent trabeculation and deep intertrabecular recesses, and echo remains the mainstay of diagnosis. In history, actually in 70, 1975, the histology was first public 0.5. So this is your X and this is your Y, and it should be less than 0.5. So if you look at this, the genes criteria are somewhere in the end systole and your genes criteria at the end diastole. That's why the genes criteria have a higher specificity, but genes criteria has got a higher sensitivity. While Dr. Stolberger came with different criteria and he said that you look at the myocardium distal to the papillary muscles and you should have at least four or more uh, trabeculi to call it as a non-compaction. Now let us look at the reproducibility of these uh, different criteria, and they are very poor. Now from this Boston series, what we find that two blinded reviewers could actually uh, agree with the original diagnosis in only two-thirds of the patients. And this agreement, if you use Stolberger criteria, was as poor as 60 to 70 percent, and if you use Jenny's criteria, it was 70 to 80 percent. Even if the Experts agree, these different criteria do not agree with each other and these are the 47 patients diagnosed with the agreement of two observers and what they find that of all these patients, the Chin's criteria were satisfied by 78% of the patients while Jenny's criteria were satisfied by 64% of the patients and the Stolberger's criteria were satisfied by only 53% of the patients. We are interested in this group, which are the patients which satisfy all the three criteria and they were only 30% and only chin criteria or only Jenny criteria or only Stolberg criteria was satisfied by only 36% of the patients, so not a very great agreement. And very interestingly, in the control group, 8% of the patient, most of them ethnic Africans, act fulfilled at least one or two criteria of non-compaction, so that is also of a concern. And the non-compaction comes in different ways. You can have a spongy myocardium like this or you can have mesh work like this or you can have just prominent trabeculations and different and you'll have almost 20 percent patient with spongy 48 with uh, mesh work and almost 30 with uh, prominent trabeculation and that is why these criteria give you different outputs so that means we have to do better i think the first thing is start using contrast because the contrast goes spherical lv with a preserved lv wall thickness and a depressed lv look for non-compaction now there is this curious phenomena called rigid body rotation where both the apex and base rotate in the same direction and that is seen in almost 88% of the LV in the patient and in this particular study from Scandinavia what they find that 40% of the LV in the patient the apex moves first counterclockwise followed by clockwise so also the base follows the same way and in 38% of the patient both the apex and the base move clockwise while in 6% of the patient, both the apex and base move in the counterclockwise direction and only in small percentage, both base and uh, apex move the other way around. And that's a very good criteria and this happens because the spherical uh, or the helical fibers are not well developed by the left ventricular non-compaction. So there are certain tips and tricks that you look at a bilayered myocardium distal to the papillary muscle in, uh, insertion more towards the apex and more towards the mid inferior and lateral levels beyond the papillary muscles. Your short axis should be perfectly perpendicular to the long axis otherwise you will get oblique cuts with a larger myocardial thickness and only remember the non-compact segments in LVNC are thicker while the septum and the basal segments are very well preserved. And MRI is our good friend because it gives very clear images and you can measure. Internal medicine director, residency director, did not know much about, they did not know much about non-compaction. She says, what is non-compaction? She started to talk, then he said, why don't you give us a lecture on non-compaction? So that for lunch, he gave a lecture on non-compaction <laughs> and obviously he was taken right away. You know, they told him right there, rather than waiting for the match, they said, you don't worry, we are, we are taking you as a resident. Yeah. Then after that, he became a cardiology fellow, now he's an attending uh, in the, that. The other point was about that ratio about 1.5 or 2.23 actually even one uh, trabeculation will make the ratio so it's not really a good criteria 
the WHO has a criteria for three tuberculations, uh, and we now go with after doing 3D echo. We think if you see five tuberculations in the left ventricle, then you're more sure that it is left, uh, left ventricle non-compaction. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Naveen. I think uh, Nit uh, let's give a big hand to Nitin for May the most outstanding presentation. Uh, Chairpersons, kindly step forward, Colonel Parashar and Dr. Kapoor. Yeah. Dr. Kapoor. I think uh, it was a really nice presentation, and we should feel very proud that uh, Nitin Burkule is the president of uh, Indian Academy of Echocardiography, and he is with us to give this oration. Nitin Burkule is very actively involved in. Uh, the CSI, for the first time, we created some good guidelines how to make a report on ECHO. I think it was a very, very nice contribution, and all the members of CSI really appreciated. Let's give a big hand to Nitin for Thank the you. outstanding presentation. May I request Dr. Dr. Burkule to Dr. please step Kapoor forward. Please come forward? I would like to invite Colonel Parashar, Dr. Kapoor, Professor Nanda, and Dr. Chopra for conferring Colonel S.K. Parashar oration.